For those of you that do not know him by name, I am honored to call him Pastor Victor Mba, the senior pastor of this ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Uh, somebody shout a big amen to the Lord. Amen. Like you know, you came in here expecting a miracle. Amen. You don't need to be announced. Every first Sunday of the month is a miracle service here. And we tap that term, miracle service, in order for you to be expectant when you come into the house of the Lord, in order to, to create a greater expectancy for you. Praise the name of the Lord. And this morning, there is a word for somebody, and I believe that you shall not leave this place the same way you came, in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There have been notable miracles that have taken place from this altar, and from the altar that we used to have in the old place and god is still in the business of doing miracles amen god the age of miracles is not over this is his time he will always be on time and he will always be there for you when you need him praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. amen i want to thank god for evangelist cyril if you have not seen him throughout this uh, throughout last month He's been the one taking care of the work in Baytown. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, man of God. Um, uh, there were some weeks I was living. I think it was last week that it was raining so hard. I was texting him to say, can we just, you know, let go. You call somebody Baytown to take care. And he said, no, I'm already on my way, so I can't come back. Hallelujah. Amen. I forgot I was dealing with a former military person. Hallelujah. They take tasks at at what it, they have said they would do. Amen. And I want to thank the wife who I heard who was driving there every week with him. Amen. May the Lord bless you, sister. We are glad uh, to have you in the house. Amen. Um, our evangelist who first was there handed the mantle will pick up again from there next week. Amen. Amen. Evangelist uh, uh, Celestine will pick up from there next week. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, mommy, it's good to see you in the house. Amen. Amen, mom. We, we are glad to have you around. God bless you. Amen. And um, it's good to see Doc in the house too. Amen. Uh, such a wonderful time when I see your smile from that same spot. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. All right. Shall we bow our heads as we pray? Thank you, Jesus. We give you the glory. Thank you. Father, Father. We come this morning again into your presence. To receive. That which you have packaged for each of us today. Lord, I am just the mailman. I am ready to deliver the package to your people. I therefore pray, oh God, that as your people receive their packages, may each of them open to benefit from that which you have posted to them today. In the name of Jesus nobody's package will be missing on the way Malaba so Kayaba nobody's package will disappear he will reach them in the name of Jesus Christ father as you have ordained to do this morning do it even to our viewers do it to those present here do it to anyone that will view this message even after today that you will richly meet them at the point of their needs and that they will have living testimonies to say jesus is lord thank you lord thank you father for hearing us for in jesus name we have prayed and the people of god shout a big amen, amen. hallelujah 
speaking this morning we'll be talking on a topic that says keep your eyes on jesus keep your eyes on jesus looking unto jesus the author and finisher of your faith hebrews 12 2 that's not our text but this morning i pray that you will not cease to put your eyes on jesus this is so crucial to me because in our world today is full of people who have been hurt or who are hurting because of some disappointment from some human being in our world today is full of people who looked unto man and at the time that man could have delivered what they promised they failed them and they have been hurt right as we speak that some of us say that i even heard of people that are hurt by loved ones that are dead and gone yet in their graves they still remote control you who is your life because you put your eyes in the wrong place don't let that mother that father that is dead and gone that auntie that uncle that brother that sister that promised to do something to you and fail you to remote control you from his grave by you being angry all the days of your life because you look up unto man that is why i come to remind somebody this morning keep your eyes on jesus it is only when you keep your eyes on jesus that disappointment will never be your portion when you keep your eyes on man my beloved there is no way you'll be hurt you'll be disappointed because man is going to disappoint you and as a reminder to somebody this morning please let go the past and focus on jesus who promised to be the author and finisher of your faith who is the one that will give you whatever you are looking for who is the one that come at the best of times whose times is the best whose moment of blessing you with whatever you are looking for is the best moment for your life who is never late who is always on time i'm talking about that man jesus ah brethren there is no joy you can receive as a preacher when you preach and you are talking about the man jesus because that is the one that you know and you know and you know and you know when all hope is gone for somebody when every hope in your life is gone he will always come through for you at the appointed time even when you feel that it's late when he comes through you will rejoice always hallelujah listen to me if you are amongst those that have been hurt or are hurting by some body that you put your trust in or you look up to and it hurts you and you have been suffering with that hurt for a long time i want to tell you god wants to turn that hurt into joy this morning yeah. praise the name of the lord god wants to turn that sorrow of yours that hurt of yours into joy this morning the bible reminds me of something the bible makes me to understand something concerning jonah the bible said jonah had an instruction from the lord to go to nineveh and preach and deliver the people of nineveh because of their sins and because of the heresy of worshiping idol gods and the bible says jonah took a ship to the wrong direction running away from god you see there is no way you can run from god hallelujah there is no way you can run away from god but as jonah was running away from god god turned his running away into taking him quicker 
to the destination of his commission <laughs> and it was so good for god because it facilitated the work of god the bible says he bought a sheep and there was storm that raged and the sheep was almost to sink and they began to say everybody consider your ways hallelujah isn't it ironic how, how when we are going through stuff it is really really true that you have to consider your ways and everybody began to pray to their god everybody began to consider their ways and they came to jonah and said what is your problem why is everybody praying and you are not praying and the people got angry and took him and threw him out as they throw him out because destiny was upon his life kabasato because destiny was upon your life it doesn't matter what disappointment you have been through because destiny is upon your life because destiny has 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 never failed the, 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 nothing that god has destined to do will ever fail because destiny was upon his life god prepared a fish to open his mouth and swallow jonah and when the fish swallowed jonah the bible says it didn't take Jonah to his own destination. It took Jonah to where God wanted Jonah to go. And the Bible says three days Jonah was in the fish stomach. God told him not to digest Jonah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But the key thing I want you to see here is this. That while the people of Nineveh were at their shore on that good saturday morning which was the busiest morning in nineveh at their beach those who were selling those who were you know uh, 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 the fishermen were selling what they caught overnight and uh, people were enjoying themselves there comes the whales throwing up jonah at their shore and now this is the key thing as to why god would do this History teaches us that the people of Nineveh believe in the marine gods, the god of the sea. Such that when Jonah was thrown at their shore, whatever thing Jonah said, they said we will believe him because he came out of the sea. disappointment into appointment this morning they will turn their disappointment into appointment with him this morning in the name of jesus christ it doesn't matter what you have been through god is able to change your destiny hallelujah you may be heading toward the wrong direction this morning and you think that oh all hope is gone but god wants to restore some hope into somebody's life this morning hallelujah and the bible said Nineveh was safe because of Jonah and because he came through the right source which would have caused or which caused the people to believe without any shadow of doubt he came out of the water this is the bigger God we have been waiting for he looks like us who will believe everything he says and that is how God used the disobedience of Jonah and turned it into a blessing oh somebody turn your bibles with me this morning to the book of matthew chapter 14 matthew chapter 14 from verse 25 thank you jesus oh we give you the glory we give you the honor we give you the adoration do i have a fast reader with a microphone to read this for me matthew chapter 14 from verse 25 the bible says Mm. Jesus went to them walking on the sea. Right. And then the disciples saw him walking on the sea. Mm. And we had trouble. Mm -hmm. Saying, It is a ghost. Mm -hmm. And they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, mm -hmm. Lord, if it is you. Right. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, mm -hmm. he was afraid. Mm -hmm. And beginning to sink, he cried out. He cried out. Saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him. And said to him, O you of little faith, why do you doubt? Hallelujah! The Bible says something here. Oh, Jesus. That when Jesus had left the multitude, he had left the multitude. And in the fourth watch, means in the evening time, or in midnight when prayer was being done. In the fourth watch, when they had just finished this crusade, and they were crossing over to the other side. The Bible said Jesus had left them and went to pray. And now Jesus began to walk on the water and come to his disciples. You know, when I read this text, the amazing thing that I saw here was that the Bible said the disciples were afraid and said it's a ghost. Disciples have been with Jesus for maybe by this time it was already three years, just waiting for the last six months to go. And the Bible said they were afraid and thought it was a ghost. Disciples of Jesus. Afraid, thinking that it was a ghost. And the Bible says when Jesus saw that they were so frightened, <laughs> he told them, shut up. It is me. Don't be afraid. It is me. I come to announce to somebody this morning that God is saying unto you, don't be afraid. Shut up. It is me. I don't know what you have been through this morning, but Jesus is saying, don't be afraid. It is me. Shut up. Hallelujah. And as though that did not end there, you know, Peter is the spokesman. He will not end on just saying, shut up. He will not end on just saying, it's me. He said, okay, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come to you. Command me to come to you if it is truly you, Jesus. We don't want to just share up here and something come and, you know, affect us. We want to be sure it is you. That's why it goes to be a real spokesman like Peter. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, Peter said, uh, Peter, Jesus said unto Peter, okay, come unto me. And the Bible says, as Peter stepped out of the boat, he began to walk towards Jesus. He began to walk towards Jesus. On what? Water. On what? Water. On what? Water. <laughs> so Peter actually walked on water. But what we have always heard is that Jesus walked on water. But I want to announce unto you this day that since the day you step out of the boat of Egypt, since the day you step out of the boat of unbelief, since the day you step out of the boat of your unbelief, you started walking on water with Jesus. You started walking on impossibilities with Jesus. You started walking on water with the things that people do not believe you could achieve. You began to achieve them. The things that all in your family said you could not imagine anything you began to amount to something because you were walking on water with Jesus hallelujah from the day of the deliverance from Egypt you started walking on water you step out of the boat the boat that was taking you to hell the boat that was taking you to condemnation the boat that had no hope for your future the boat that was was taking you but to the devil you step out of it and the Bible says you began to walk with Jesus and as you were walking with Jesus something happened when you step out of that boat your attention was on jesus your focus was on jesus you had everything was on jesus jesus was your morning star he was the one you breathe in the morning he was the one you eat every time you spoke about jesus everywhere your attention was only on jesus but the bible says when the sea began to is rough. So, when the sea began to be rough, the Bible says Peter was frightened by the raging sea, by the stormy sea. I bet you on this journey to the promised land, on this journey to heaven, there will be some stormy seas on your way, my beloved. I promise you there will be, you see, you see, the, 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 sea, the sea will not stop to rage. 
Because you are closer to Jesus. But the more the sea range where you are closer to Jesus, the more Jesus can grab your hand. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. That suggests to us that rough storms in the life of children of God is not a sign that they are not in good standing with God. Rough storms in the life of children of God is a moment to showcase that relationship with Jesus. Oh, how is your relationship with Jesus? Your rough storms will showcase how close you are with Jesus. Because in the midst of your rough storms, you can call on Jesus. And the Bible says, in the midst of the raging storm Peter took his attention off from God and that's why I came to remind somebody this morning keep your eyes on Jesus in the midst of every raging storm of your life keep your eyes on Jesus Oh, don't keep your eyes on that uncle. Don't keep your eyes on that father, that mother, that brother, that sister. Don't even keep your eyes on your wife. Hello? Or on your husband. And it's vice versa, you know. I said, don't keep your eyes on your wife or on your husband. Don't even keep your eyes on your children. Don't even keep your eyes on the governor of the state. Don't even keep your eyes on the president. Don't keep your eyes on the Pope. Hello? Yes. No human being on this earth qualifies you to keep your eyes on him. Because none of them saved you from their dungeon of going to hell. No, as far as they were not qualified to save you, they are not qualified to, for you to put your eyes on them. Hallelujah! Only Jesus saved you from you going to hell. He saved you that you may enjoy life. He says, the devil come on up but to steal, kill, and destroy. But I came that thou may have life and have it in its abundance. Abundant life is your portion. We didn't just get saved waiting to go to heaven one day. We got saved that we may enjoy real life here on earth so that heaven is a bonus of the fact that you are saved. Heaven is a bonus. So stop just waiting on going to heaven in your brokenness. Stop just waiting to go to heaven and say that's where the enjoyment you can enjoy while here on earth. When the Bible says when the kingdom of God is here, Jesus seven seven said the kingdom of God is at hand. It's right here. You can start enjoying kingdom pattern of life right here on earth. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep your eyes on Jesus. The Bible says, when the storms began to rage, Peter took his eyes off Jesus to look on his left and on his right and about the storm that was coming behind. And when that happened, the Bible said he began to sink. Ha, ha, ha. I'm speaking to some people here who some of you are about sinking. You may be seeing your leg going down instead of standing on the water as you had walked the first five steps of your life. You have now turned, you are looking on the wave, you are looking on the storms, you are looking on the disappointments, you are looking on the, on the, on the, on the issues of life, you are looking on all what you can think about you, the financial problems, you are looking on the marital problems, you are looking on the children's problems, you are looking on all of these in the case of when you are looking on this you are sinking and going but the bible says call on him in the midst of your raging storm praise the name of the lord and the bible says why peter recognized that things were becoming abnormal he screamed and said he screamed and said jesus help me hallelujah Hallelujah. And the Bible says immediately. This is a mystery now. Verse 30. No, verse 31. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand out. Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said. Let's not go to said yet. Jesus stretched forth his hand 
Brethren, this is a mystery here. We are not told how close they were. <laughs> no wonder why the Bible says in Isaiah, the hand of the Lord is no short. <laughs> he can cut you from any distance, my beloved. I come to announce to you this morning, no matter how far you have run away from him, his hand is not short to grab you by the hand. His hand is not short. It doesn't matter the distance on how you are far away from him. If you can call on him, he will be able to stretch that hand and cut you this morning. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him. <laughs> and caught him. And he said, Oh, you of little faith, why do you doubt? You know what this means? This means a lot. Oh, ye of little faith, why did you doubt? After you saw the great and mighty wonders, God is asking somebody this morning, Oh, ye of little faith, why do you doubt God in this little problem you have now? After he has saved you from more grievous problems in the past, Oh, ye of little faith, Jesus is asking, Why do you doubt him for this little financial situation now when he had delivered you from greater situations? Why do you doubt in this midst, in the midst of this little problem, in the midst of this little academic problem, in the midst of this little marital problem, in the midst of this little situation that you are going through? Why do you doubt me when I have delivered you from greater problems? Look to Jesus. He is the author and finisher of your faith. Hallelujah! And the Bible says, He rescued. Peter from sinking. He rescued Peter from drowning. He is ready to rescue somebody this morning. I say he is able to rescue somebody this morning. He is able to rescue you this morning. Hey! Hey! Thank you Jesus. From the text that our sister read this morning. Oh we saw two scenarios there. Thank you Lord. We saw Jared whose child was sick. And he came to beg on Jesus to go with him at their home and pray for the child. You see, the problem with us is they listen to this and listen very well. The level at which you want to take Jesus is the level at which he's going to pray with you at that level. Remember, there was another case. The Bible says this centurion came to Jesus and said, My servant is sick at home. And Jesus said, okay, come on, let's go. The centurion said, no, 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 master. I'm not worthy. Remember, this was a, an army general who has enough Malachi to receive Jesus in his compound with no problem. He would have been living in one of the big mansions. He said, no, master, I'm not worthy to receive you at my home. Speak your word and my servant shall be healed. Now, but we see this centurion who begged on Jesus, please, my child is sick. And Jesus said, what do you want? He said, come to my house, please. And Jesus said, yeah, let's go. And on their way, hallelujah, he could have spoken the word had the woman decided to receive it by spoken word. On their way, the Bible says a woman that have suffered from the hands of physicians for 12 years. Thank God we live in America where we know what it means to suffer in the hands of physicians. It suggests to us that this woman was a wealthy woman for her to have been able to sustain and paid a private doctor for 12 years for her blood issue. This woman wasn't any poor woman. She sustained, I don't, I don't believe it was one doctor actually, you know, because you keep trying one doctor to the other, to the other, to the other. But she sustained doctors for 12 years. 
And the Bible says, instead of her case getting better, she got worse. But one day, she heard of Jesus. And when she heard of Jesus, the only moment she was able to get hold of Jesus was that moment that Jesus with a crowd were going to the home of Jairus to see how Jesus will resurrect or will bring healing to the child of Jairus. Hello? And this woman said in her mind, well, if he's about taking him to my home, where do I even have to take him to? I don't think I can even pay audience to him because my issue is really an abomination for me to be in the crowd. Hello? Are you getting me? She, she understood the gravity of what she was going through and she, she decided, she decided this time not even to see Jesus or put his eyes on the face of Jesus. She decided to say whatever thing that comes out of Jesus whatever thing I can grab hold that is belonging to Jesus that is more radical faith hello Jared wanted the man to go to his house Jesus to go to his house that was good faith enough the centurion said speak your word that was bigger faith this woman says, I don't care if I can only touch the dirty hem of his garment. You remember this thing is now, we're not talking about people who are moving in America with every place tied and, you know, we're talking of somebody that was moving on the use of Jerusalem with the cow dungs and all the dungs of all these animals. And so that's why when you hear about Jesus doing feet washing, it was not feet washing that we hypocritically do today. So people move their shoe then you do feel washing this is just uh, it doesn't carry the weight of what it takes when we talk about jesus who did feet washing was feet of people that were with senders and walking through the the, the untied roads of jerusalem on tired roads of, the, of, the, of that time of jerusalem on the hills on the shores so there were really dirty feet indeed that jesus was watching it wasn't a symbolic thing and so the Bible says, this woman said, if I can only touch, I will be walking in the crowd. I will crawl in the crowd. And as I crawl in the crowd, if I'm able to identify that this is him, and I touch the hem, my blood issue will be made whole. You see, the one thing I want you to get from this woman is that she came with a determination. She said to herself, if I can, how did you come to church this morning? What did you say to yourself? What do you say when the word of God is coming forth? What do you say should happen to you? What you said is what God will do this morning. What you determined for God to do is what he will do this morning. He will not do what you don't crave for. He will not do what you don't determine. She said in her heart, if I can only touch. Did you come to church saying something? What he said is what he's going to do. Hallelujah, somebody. He is ready to do what you said. Don't take church coming as just a ritual. Take church coming as a time of you coming to have an encounter with God. A time you come to have a relationship with God. A time you come to receive from God. A time you come to worship God. A time you come to give your all to God. Hallelujah. And this morning, who understand with those who came with something in their mind that they want Jesus to do for them. Understand in prayer with such people that the, the, the desires of your heart, the desires of your heart shall be given unto you this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. The Bible says in Proverbs 18.10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and they are safe. You can run into Jesus this morning and be saved. You can run unto him this morning and be delivered. You can run unto him this morning and be set free. I don't care how much you are drowning.
his hand is not short to reach you this morning his arm is not short to deliver you this morning he is well able to deliver you in this morning hallelujah somebody rise up on your feet as you pray this morning thank you father kaliba saka yamasoto Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. As I was preaching this morning, I saw a lot of you very guilty. Very guilty. Very guilty. Very guilty. But as you are guilty, I want to announce to you that in the midst of your guilt, the angels of God are here this morning to sanction the charges for your guilt. Thank you, Father. <laughs> oh, some of us have already been what am I guilty of? As I speak this morning, most of us are already guilty. But I tell you there's an advocate that is able or that is here to take all of you that are guilty and sentence you to your lifetime imprisonments and uh, some of those lifetime imprisonment you're gonna love them uh, i'm gonna declare some of those imprisonments before we begin to pray for individuals I know that some of you have come here as you have heard this word. You are guilty because you are sinking. You are guilty because as the storm is raging, you are looking left or right. You took your eyes off on Jesus. And because of that, you are guilty because financial problems is the storm that is taking you off from, your pro from, from Jesus. Some of you are guilty of financial problems. But I tell you that in the midst of your guilt of financial problems, the angel of God are here. The angels of God are here to take those who are guilty of financial problems into a sentence of lifetime of prosperity in the name of Jesus some of you are guilty of sicknesses and disease in your body sickness and disease in your body are the storms that are taking some of you off from God and you are guilty of that but I come to tell you that this morning the angels of God are ready to take you into a lifetime imprisonment of good health forever and ever in the name of Jesus some of you are here guilty of failure in your education failure in life you have not succeeded on any one thing that you have tried to do but I tell to you I announce to you this morning that in the midst of your guilt of failure the angels of God are here ready to condemn you to a lifetime of success in the name of Jesus everything that you shall lay your hands to do he command prosperity and success over your life this morning in the name of Jesus some of you are guilty of marital problems with your wives, with your husbands. Some of you are guilty of marital issues in your home. But Jesus is saying this morning, I have sent an angel of God to dispatch unto you and to take you into a sentence of peace, perpetual peace in your marriage. In the name of Jesus. Peace, perpetual peace in your marriage. In the name of Jesus. Some of you are guilty of barrenness. Barrenness in the womb. Barrenness in your marriage. Barrenness in your family. But the Lord is saying, I have sent angels to take you and condemn you to a time of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Every day of your life you shall be fruitful. Yes. Oh, as you look unto Jesus this morning, all these accusations that you have accused yourself of and you have become guilty of, the angels of God are here 
to take you into that realm of enjoyment to acquit to, to sentence you to a lifetime of enjoyment a lifetime of good health a lifetime of prosperity a lifetime of oh kayaba seke yaba sa re matala bo sondolo bo 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 re kere be 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 i speak into every life this morning that whatever be a problem may the angels of god dispatch unto you you are sentence of lifetime enjoyment you are sentence of lifetime prosperity you are sentence of lifetime 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 of success lifetime of good health lifetime of whatever you are suffering from may the angels of god take you into that room right now in the name of jesus as i want to call individuals that are really going through something i want to pray with you this morning you are here and you know that you are going through something that disturb your peace the peace of your home the peace of your family your own personal peace i want to pray with you this morning thank you father I don't know what is it that bothers you, but your storm has caused you to almost take your attention off of Jesus. And you are almost looking on your left and on your right. And you are even in the moment of almost sinking. Jesus is stretching forth his hand this morning. Anyone that want to grab that hand, please can you come forward? I'll pray for you. His stretching hand is stretching forth his hand to you. You want to grab that hand of Jesus. Oh, basaka yebo sanda laba, rekehe abasata mosoto, rimanda kalaba soto lobo sete, rekaya laba basondo liya mandala, rekata bo sete ya matata, limondo kolo bo 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 bo. As you come to him this morning, oh, close your eyes and begin to say something to him. What do you want him do for you? Just as the 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 woman with the issue of blood when she heard of Jesus. Jesus. She said that if I can only touch, what is it that if Jesus can only touch you this morning, you will benefit. It's what I want you to pray for. Begin to tell him something. Begin to tell him something. The power of God is already present here to touch you. At the point of your need, the presence of God is here. Angels of God is here to, 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 to deliver unto you what the, what has what been destined for your life. Le bakaya masoto to, le mandala baba baba soto, le kaya la baba sa. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Remo soko le ya baba sa. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Re kaya masoto e mandala baba so. Whatever the need in this life, Holy Spirit, meet that need right now. Meet that need right now. Meet that need right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Holy Ghost. By the authority and power in your name, Jesus. Touch and meet that need in this life. Whatever be that need in your life, I command that it be met. This morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the reason of the power of God. May that need in your life be met this morning. Receive Holy Ghost. Touch her. May, her, may she receive that which she needs from you this morning. It is done in your life in the name of Jesus. May every chains that hold you bound, may every chains of any type be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Right now, you are set loose, you are set free. You are set loose, you are set free. Take it right now, take it right now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Every chains that hold you bound, every ordinances that were written against you I nullify them right now by the power in the name of Jesus I set you loose I set you free from every entanglement wherever they call your name may fire appear Kalebo so therefore you are loose you are loose you are loose you are loose in the name of Jesus thank you father in the name of Jesus I declare that every powers of darkness that have held you bound and whatever be the need of your life this morning, may that need be met. May that need be met in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
fire of the Holy Ghost fall on this body and meet every need. Holy Ghost, fire. May fire fall on you now and meet every need of your life. Take it. Receive that which you need. And may the Lord reach to me to the point of your need. In the name of Jesus, it's done in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, may fire come down from heaven and consume every burden of your heart. May every burden in your life be consumed. May the peace of God that surpasses every understanding take over your life right now. Receive, receive, receive the peace, receive the peace, receive the peace in the name of Jesus. Take it now in Jesus' mighty name. Labo seke lebosa. Holy Ghost. A new visitation on this life. A new visitation on this life. As the fire of God come upon you to consume everything that stands on your way of success of that which God has destined for your life. Receive your deliverance right now. You are set loose. You are set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Race upon this life right now. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Consume everything that needs to be consumed in this body. Receive your deliverance right now. Fire. Fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire around this body. May the fire of God come over your life and consume anything that take away your peace. Anything that take away your peace. May fire consume it now. Holy Ghost. May she receive the desire of her heart. Take it now. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. As I break every yoke over your life. That yoke is broken. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Break every yoke. Break every yoke. Break every yoke. And may your daughter be set free. 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 In the name of Jesus. Receive now. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Anything that stands on the way of your progress. Anything that stands on the way of your peace. I pray the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume it now. And I pray the peace of God to reign in your family and marriage in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost fire. Consume everything that disturbs this life. It may be sickness or disease. May the fire of God consume that sickness. Holy Ghost. Okay. Take it right now in the name of Jesus. You are set free. You are set free. You are set free. You are set loose. You are set loose in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Over this life right now. Whatever they need in your life. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Come and consume every burden over this life. Release the freedom now. I release the freedom over your life. Freedom, freedom, freedom from every burden of life. You are set loose. You are set loose right now. In the name of Jesus. Take it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. May the fire of the Holy Ghost come over your life right now and consume anything that has stood on your way. The way of your success. The way of your deliverance. May the fire of God consume that thing right now. And may you begin to receive success right now. Success. 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 It is done unto you this day. It is done unto you this day. Malebo Sokotevasa. No demonic attacks. No satanic attacks. No influence of the kingdom of darkness. Of any type shall stand on your way. In the name of Jesus. No spoken words will stand on your way anymore. In the name of Jesus. I said it loose. And I command success to possess you right now. Success to possess. 
bless you right now. It is where we are so right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Holy Ghost fire. Come over this life right now. And consume anything that has always stand on the way of this son. Whatever has been standing on the way of their success. Whatever has stood on the way of their deliverance. In the name of Jesus. I command that thing broken right now. Fire the Holy Ghost. Break that thing. Break it. Break it. Break it. You are setting loose now. You are set loose. You are set free. You are set free. Freedom is your portion right now. Receive your freedom. Receive your freedom. In the name of Jesus. You are loose. And you are set free in Jesus name. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Father. Anything that has stood on the way of your success, anything that has disturbed your peace, I come right now against it in the name of Jesus and I declare that is this sickness or disease, whatever. Oh, fire the Holy Ghost. Consume that thing right now and may she be set loose. You are set free, you are set delivered in the name of Jesus. Take your healing right now and take deliverance from that thing that has disturbed the peace of your mind. You are delivered. You are delivered, you are delivered, you are delivered. Receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of the Holy Ghost, come over, oh, come over this life right now and consume uh, anything that has stood on the way of your success, anything that has stood on the way of that which God has destined for your life, any sickness and disease. Fire the Holy Ghost, receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing, may your, may, may your healing be total and complete in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No longer shall you shall that affliction again rise in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Once again. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Touch this life right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Anything that stands on the way of that which God has destined for you. Receive your healing right now. Receive your deliverance right now. Take it. Fire. Fire the Holy Ghost. Be set loose. Totally set free. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, may the fire of the Holy Ghost, may the fire of the Holy Ghost come over your life and consume anything that has stood on your way. In the name of Jesus, you are set loose. You are set free in the name of Jesus. Kabole abasata yamasoto. Rika masendele abababababase. Taka yamasoto lobobobo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lebo saka mosete. Raka moseke lebo sa. May the fire of the Holy Ghost come over your life right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. May anything that has stood on the way of your life success may that thing be broken may that thing be broken may that thing be broken right now you are set loose you are set free it is sickness and disease in your body i declare you healed whatever be the curse you are set free from it in the name of jesus Oh, Labo Seke, Ramasando Lobo Bobo Se, Rakala Baba 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 Baba, by the authority and by the name of Jesus Christ, I declare fire of the Holy Ghost to come over your life. That anything that has stood on the way of your success, anything that has stood on the way of your deliverance, anything that has stood on the way of your breakthrough in this country, I have a you right now. And you are set loose, you are set free. You are set loose and free from it. You are free. May the favor of God follow you right now. Favor, favor, favor. Favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Oh, le kabasata yaba. Le mo sende le bo yakalababa. Le kete yababa. Holy Ghost fire. Rest upon your daughter's life right now. That anything that has stood on the way of her success in this land. By the authority and power. In the name of Jesus. Fire the Holy Ghost. Consume it. Consume that thing right now. I declare fire over your body right now. To consume anything that has stood on the way of your deliverance. On the way of your success. I pray for favor. Favor. 
favor, favor, favor. Take it right now. And I declare that this baby is safe in your womb. Safe in the name of Jesus. Until the day of deliverance. On the day of delivery, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Kabo Sekele Basa. By the authority and power. In the name of Jesus, anything that stands on the way of your success, by the fire in the name of Jesus Christ, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. You are set free, you are set loose in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. By the authority and power in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that may the fire of God, fire of the Holy Ghost, come over your body and consume anything that have stood on the way of your deliverance. Anything that has stood on the way of your success. Anything that has stood on the way of your health. I declare healing right now. You are set loose. Free, free, free. You are set loose. You are set delivered. You are free right now in the name of Jesus. Take it, take it, take it, take it in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not receive the power of God. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. I command you free. I command you free. I command you free. 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 By the authority. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Examine this life now and consume any consumables and heal anything that needs to be healed. You are set free. You are healed. 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 You are set free. In the name of Jesus. May the power of God come over you right now. Come over you right now by the authority in Jesus name you are set loose you are set loose in the name of Jesus you are set loose in the name of Jesus fire of the Holy Ghost fire of the Holy Ghost fire of the Holy Ghost take total control take total control fire receive your healing thank you Jesus you are set loose. Set loose. You are set loose. You are set loose. Loose. I come in that power. Be broken. Be broken right now. In the name of Jesus. You are set free. You are set free. You are set free in the name of Jesus. You are set free in the name of Jesus. You are set free in the name of Jesus. You are set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are loose. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every ordinance that were written against you. Every power of that every satanic powers that have taken control of your life today mark their ending in the name of Jesus you are set loose from today in the name of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus we command your deliverance today you are set free in the name of Jesus you are set loose in the name of Jesus thank you father thank you lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Father. Thank you, Lord. By the authority and power in the name of Jesus, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to come over your life right now and consume anything that has stood on the way of your success. Fire of the Holy Ghost, set your daughter free right now. Anything that stands on the way of your deliverance, your success, I command that thing be broken right now in the name of Jesus. May the favor of God be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Kabo Seke Yabasa. By the authority and power in the name of Jesus, I set you loose from anything that has stood on the way of your deliverance. Anything that has stood on the way of your success. Anything that has stood on the way of your promotion. I declare that thing broken right now. And I command you to succeed in the name of Jesus. And I pray for the baby in your womb. That this baby will stay safe on the, until the day of delivery. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Labo Sekeyama Sata. You are set loose and free from every affliction. 
affliction of sickness shall not arise again in your life you are set loose you are set free from this moment forward in the name of jesus christ we pray amen thank you father thank you lord by the authority and power in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you healed, set free from every powers of darkness, from every satanic forces that hold power on your life. I declare you free from them now, free from them now. Fire the Holy Ghost, set this one free, Lord. Set that free right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Freedom from every sickness or disease. Freedom from anything that bothers your life. Freedom, 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 freedom. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Receive your freedom as I break every chain, every ordinances that were written against you. You are set free from them right now. No more sickness in your body. In the name of Jesus, you are set free in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I declare that anything that have held you bound, I declare you free from it now. Free from it now. Free from it now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I rebuke anything that has stood on the way of your success. Anything that has stood on the way of your life moving forward. That thing is broken right now. That ordinance is broken. That yoke is broken. That curse is broken. You are set free from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Visit this body right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Anything that stands on the way of your success. I declare you healed right now. I declare you free right now. I set you loose right now. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Deliver this one. From anything that has held her bound. Oh God. May she be loose today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I am still Holy Spirit, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, by the power in the name of Jesus, I stand to declare that any ordinances that were written against you, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume anything that was written against your life, that you shall not succeed in life, that you shall not, oh God, have that required dream of yours. I command that thing be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, and that I think the favor of God shall begin to locate you from today. Favor of God shall begin to locate you from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord. I declare the favor of God over your life. As I declare that everything that has been fighting your success, I declare it broken right now, broken right now. Fire the Holy Ghost. Consume anything in this life that has stood on the way of the success. May that seed be broken. And I declare from today, you are loose, you are set free, and favor is your portion, success is your portion, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord. Anyone that look at you and say, what did you want to show? Lekabasoto. Anyone that looked at you and spoke evil words or did incantations, I declare such incantations are broken right now. They are broken from your life right now. And I declare your life set free. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Break every incantations, every ordinance that was spoken against his life. That he shall not see success. That you shall not move forward. I break them right now and I command that your life shall move forward. Your life shall move forward. The favor of God is your portion. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, fire of the Holy Ghost, consume anything in this body that has stood on the way of our success, stood on the way of our breakthrough, stood on the way of the dreams that you have had for our life. I declare you free from everything that has been standing on the way. Fire of the Holy Ghost, consume, consume right now. Fire, consume. If there be anything, may it be consumed. That the favor of God shall locate you right now. Favor of God to locate you. Favor of God to locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. 
As every yoke has been broken, I command the favor of God to locate you right now. Favor unspeakable, favor notable. Because the yokes have been broken because of the anointing. Therefore, may the glory of God and the favor of God locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, locate your daughter right now. As you begin to locate her, may every yoke that has stood on the way of her promotion, the way of her breakthrough, the way of her success in this land, every yoke is being broken right now. Fire of the Holy Ghost, break every yoke in our life. May that yoke be broken. May that yoke be broken. As that yoke is being broken, I, do, I demand the favor of God over your life. Favor. 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 You shall weep no more. Favor. You shall cry no more. Favor. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your children. In the name of Jesus, there's a turning around in your life. In Jesus' name. May the anointing that is right upon my life right now break every yoke of my life. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Everything that I've turned on the way of your success, I command the power of God to break it right now. Be broken, be broken, be broken right now. In the name of Jesus, you are set loose. You are set free. As I command freedom, 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 in the name of Jesus, and that the success of God shall possess you in anything you lay your hands to do in Jesus' name. Thank you. Leka basa kolobose, leka yabasa talabasoto, leka masanda la baba baba. Fire of the Holy Ghost. As you examine this life and consume any form of affliction, I declare favor because you consume every affliction. Affliction of any type shall not arise again in your life. Be sickness, be disease of any kind. You are so loose. You are so loose. No accident shall see you nor your children. In the name of Jesus, I declare that this day favor shall begin to locate you. Favor in the business you want to do. Favor in anything that the has touched to do. May prosperity follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Oh, Basaka Mosete, Rika Labasoto Lobose, Lika Masanda Lababa, Rike Tebo Sototo, in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak, oh God, that as the yokes had been broken and you have received the favor of God, may that favor remain permanent in your life. May that favor remain permanent in your life right now. That favor over your life is permanent. It's permanent. As I pray that the baby in your womb will stay safe until the day of delivery in the name of Jesus. Because this is a miracle baby. Oh, no devil in hell shall touch this baby until you deliver this baby in the name of Jesus Christ. You are set loose in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. La Cabo Soto. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that every powers of darkness that have stood on the way of your breakthroughs, on the way of the favors of God in your life, they are broken from today. They are broken from today. And may the favor of God locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Cabo Sakalaba Soto. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that every yoke of the devil over your life, every satanic force, every demonic force, every satanic agent over your life is broken right now. As the fire of God come over your life, it breaks every yoke of darkness and you are set free, you are set loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
Father, we declare freedom over this life from anything that have burdened this life. You are set free from today by the authority and power in the name of Jesus. We declare you free from any curse that has stood on the way of your deliverance, from any curse that has stood on the way of your prosperity. I declare that curse broken right now, and you are set loose and set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Freedom over your life. Freedom over your life. Freedom over your life. Freedom over your life. As I declare that everything your hands will touch to do, may it prosper. No one shall be able to stand on the way of your prosperity again. In the name of Jesus, you are set loose and you are set free. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, may your glory and your favor shine over this life. Shakaya Basata. Hallelujah. Taking your healing right now over everything that bothers your life. Anything that bothers your life. Healing, healing. Healing in your life right now. In the name of Jesus. I command you healed. I command you healed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Give a mighty clap unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, everybody. Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's raise our hands up to heaven. Father, that which your people have received today, let no devil in hell take it away from them. May your deliverance be permanent in the name of Jesus. May your healing be permanent in the name of Jesus. May your breakthrough be permanent in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done today and what you will continue to do. As your people go, they go empowered. They go fortified by the power of the Holy Ghost. They go anointed by the power of the Holy Ghost. That no affliction of bankruptcy, no affliction of poverty, no affliction of, oh God, poverty, no affliction of sickness and disease will ever come near to their dwelling again. In the name of Jesus. You are set free. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. Rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen.